Hello. That's about good right there. Okay. Ahem. <clears throat> uh. So, um. This is my first video in a very long time, but I just, on a whim, decided to do this. I don't know if I'm gonna do this through my entire playthrough of this game, but. Whatever. So, welcome to Pathfinder Kingmaker. Um. Which has released uh, today, um, September 25th, 2018. Um, I've been really looking forward to this game. It is a CRPG set in the Pathfinder universe, uh, um, which is you know part of the Pathfinder uh, role-playing game system. Um, this uh, is based on an adventure path, a campaign that they made for their world and their game uh, several years ago. Um, but is, uh, from what I've heard, it is lauded as one of their best campaigns. Um, basically, uh, the story is that um, this is taking place in a part of their world, Galarian, known as the Stolen Lands. Um, and uh, basically, we go in as an adventurer, we get a party together, uh, friends, allies, uh, yada yada, and we go into this place and we kind of eventually become the rulers of the stolen lands or uh, I'm not sure if that'll stick as the name the entire time and I'm not sure why they called they're called stolen lands either but I am a big fan of the Pathfinder gaming system and their world even though I don't know everything about it I love what I've read um, and uh, for those of you in my uh, campaigns that may watch this, um, uh, I promise not to do too much of this game to you. Uh, what does that even mean? I don't know. Let's just get to it. Okay. I don't know what... I assume this is a map of the Stolen Lands. I don't know what's the letter. I can't like interact with anything except this stuff. Uh, but the music is great. Like... I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, by the way, um, I guess you can call me Blacklight628 here. Alright. Goodbye. Er, no. Not goodbye. Let's, ah, let's start the game. Uh, we as developers are always striving to improve our work. To this end, we need information that we can only get from you by allowing to... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Like, I want to help the game succeed. Um, like I said, it just came out today. Um, I actually did not back it on the Kickstarter. I wish now that I had, but I did pre-order this, so, um, but anyway, okay, so, story mode. Okay, that's nice. Uh, I think I'll do normal mode. So, okay. With this condition, suffer the deadline, then they will die. Rescue and come from a safe place, such as all the screen moves. The game is over. If your companion dies, you can resurrect them with raised dead or a similar spell. Extremely expensive service unavailable to us. Oh, so that's part of this game? Huh. So I guess permadeath is a thing. Ooh. Hmm. Uh, uh, screw it. I'm just going to keep everything normal. Last as Lanty mode? Only one save slot is available in this mode. The game saves automatically in key points and a palm game exit. Okay. Um, kingdom management. Oh, yeah. Uh, like I said, eventually you kind of you build up a kingdom here. I'm not sure what to the extent that is, but I saw like you like can change like certain buildings and stuff. Fix it. Uh, in auto mode. Huh. No, no, I'm not. I want to. I want to. So normal, easy. Let's just keep it normal. Um, there's a lot of customization here for your for your game, like even damage to party. Huh. I'm sure like that means like custom mode, but this is normal mode. Um. And yes, uh, immersive mode. Disables. No, I don't want that. Um. 
Only active campaigns. No, why on earth would I want? Well, I guess, yeah. Uh, depends on the weight you're characting. Tiles the income. Yeah, I guess I'll just keep this all the same. Okay. So next. Yes, character selection. Woo! So, so there are like pre-made characters. Uh, so let's check them out. Hedwig. Is that how you remember that? Head, Hedwig? Hedwig. A, the Resolute is a human fighter who is deadly with his flail, and he skillfully uses his heavy shield for both attack and defense. An experienced mercenary, Hedwig, uh, makes a point of never joining an, an ignoble cause, no, how, no matter how good the pay is. He towers over the battlefield like a mountain, protecting his comrades with all his might. Okay, so roll protector. Huh. I know plenty about, about Pathfinder. I've been running it for years at this point. Um... So I'm excited to see how this plays out in a CRPG. So, Malaku, class Paladin, Brill Melee. Malaku the Deliverer is a human paladin of Iomade, goddess of justice. His two-handed sword is a formidable weapon on its own. But with Iomade's blessing, it comes a devastating tool of retribution used to bring the... Okay, you know, I'm not going to read all of these, um, but I will click on them. So if you want to, you can read them. Feline the Daring. I like how they each have titles. I like that. I like titles. Uh, for people. I'm actually not too good at making them myself sometimes. Uh, my players can probably attest to that. I don't have great titles for them yet. Um, well, a couple of them I do. But for some people it's like, hmm, Gimar the Bright. Ooh, I like that. I think I'm gonna the Bright. I think I'm gonna st steal that. Um, and then, last one. Ah! Halfling, Cleric of Serenray. I like Serenray. Serenray is best goddess, in my opinion. <laughs> I'm sorry if, like, uh, if if some other Pathfinder people. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of portraits. Let's go through them. So. Okay, so I guess you can't fully customize your character. Oh no, wait, you can. That's just the portrait. So I guess this gives you like a basis to work off of. Uh, who's this guy? Um, so this is just the portrait, right? Hmm. The, oh, this art is really good. Ooh, look at that. Like, what is even happening? Oh. Oh, this reminds me of a character <laughs> or an NPC I made once. Um, uh, what in the world? Okay. Well, yeah, apparently, like, um, alignment, uh, you're not just a good guy in this, you can be evil. Mm, pretty. Um, why don't we start with Hedwig, but, uh, this is just the portrait, so we'll see. So, race. Um. So, it's, oh, Asimar? But no tiefling? Maybe that was part of the Kickstarter stuff. So, uh, those who don't know, Osimar, like, um, here I'll put it up so that you can read it here. Um, but basically, Osimar are, um, mortals with, uh, celestial or essentially good, like, angel blood, essentially. Uh, actually, what are they? Heritage? Light Halo, Celestial Resistance. Ooh. Come back. Come back, little text thing. Okay. So, yeah, they have a few resistances to start off with against certain things. Uh, plus two circumstance bonus on saving throws. Okay. Hmm, Heritage. Hmm, I wonder if that plays a hand in stuff. I think I'm just going to be a human to start off with. Just keep it easy. If you don't know what a human is, I'm very confused. And, ha like, you have behaved yourself well amongst us. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'll be a, a guy. Just, you know. Anyway. Um, I guess I can't change the ability scores yet. Uh... So, body types, so sort of skinny, medium, stocky, okay? 
face. I should we get a zoom in here. Can we get a zoom in somehow? I guess that doesn't matter too much. I find it amusing how that one was just sneering. style. I might be falling back on a uh, character design from like other games that I've done. Yeah, that's fine. And he must have a beard. Looks good. And yeah, let's make the hair even more red. Or what's this color? Oh, it's sort of darker red. Uh, yeah, let's go with this one more orange. Um, do, 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 okay. Uh, okay, so I got to pick a class. Ooh, and yes, they have a bunch of stuff. Oh. So they don't just have the main 11, they have a few others, like, um, so the main 11 class is a Pathfinder, uh, and Pathfinder, if you're still confused, is kind of like, it's, um, it's based on the world's oldest role-playing game, which is D&D. &D. Basically, Pathfinder is, you could describe it as D&D &D by another name, but it's also got its own stuff that, that it's made, they, um, um, anyways, um, uh, there are several similarities, such as classes. So the main eleven of Pathfinder are Barbarian, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Fighter, uh, Monk, Paladin, Ranger, Rogue, Sorcerer, Wizard. Um, and it looks like they've added a few additional ones. Alchemist, um, uh, Inquisitor, and Magus. Or Magus? I, I still don't... Let's, let's, let's pronounce it Magus. Um... Um, but, uh, let's see, what do I want to play? I do love me the druid. The druid is my favorite class. Um, so they have both, uh, they have both, uh, spells. They can heal, they can damage, but they can also, uh, they also have their wild shape ability, um, which allows them to, uh... Yeah, there it is, Wild Shape. Ooh, it's specific, I guess? Huh, I guess that makes sense. Otherwise, like, it'd get kind of crazy. Ooh, Wild Shape, huge elemental, yes. Nature Bond. Alignment Restriction. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, actual Pathfinder in this, which, I mean, I would expect. But, geez, detect magic. Okay. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Uh huh. Okay. So I'm not going to go over all this. Um. Huh? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I forgot. I read this. They added archetypes. Basically, um. Um. Basically, uh, in Pathfinder, um, they have, uh, these, um, they have these, uh, sort of subclasses, I guess you could say, called archetypes that basically change certain things about, uh, about the, uh, the class. So, for Druid, you could be a Blight Druid. Let's see. Devoted servants of nature. Corrupted, ruined, and destroyed. Blight Druids are the caretakers of lands ravaged by natural disaster. While some are devoted to reforming and reclaiming lands spoiled by the ravages of civilization, others seek out the more rapacious violence inherent in nature and feed the creeping rot and decay that brings an end to all things. Oh. So, Blight Bond. So, like, here... Um, okay, so, for instance... Uh... Let's see. Um, so, like, here I see that... Okay. So basically, like, a Blight Druid is a sort of a Death Druid. Defender of the true world. 
uh, slaying faith rats. That's not a very long description, but it looks like oh, okay. So a druid who tries to keep the fey, a a druid who fights the fey. I I've never heard of that. And then there's Fey Speaker, who is like Fey Touched. Interesting. I wonder uh, what that is. Like, okay. So I've. I, uh huh. Nice. Oh, this is so cool. There's so much replayability that, for this. It's insane. And I, and I'm betting you can multiclass. Oh, and these are the um. Whatchamacallits, uh, the, uh, <laughs> I've been playing Bathfinder for so long, I'm sorry, I'm so excited, um, the prestige classes, so you basically need to, like, it, it's kind of, like, um, more specialized, or more special, I guess you could say, so, like, um, you kind of, you might, you'll probably need, uh, for, I'll probably need to, if I wanted to go into this, I would probably need to multi-class, because that's generally what you need to do for the, for the, uh, prestige classes. Um, but Arcane Structure is like a rogue who does magic. Rogue can actually do a little bit of magic itself. Eldritch Scoundrel, right. But the thing is that like, um, okay, no, I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. I gotta get, I gotta get through this. So we're gonna go, um, actually, no, 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 I'll do a druid. I'll do a druid. I, I know, I know what I want. And it's druid. So my nature's bond. Oh, this oh, animal companion. Oh, I do love the animal companions. But domains are pretty cool too. No, animal companion, definitely. Um, I'm going to go with. You can have a mastodon. What? Um. Uh, let's go with a wolf. You know what? I'm basically, I'm just basically going to be remaking a druid that I played once. He died, actually. Level 10. We were fighting demons. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's just remake. Let's, let's just remake that character. That sounds fun. Um, so. Oh, I, I'm going to re, I'm going to change my portrait. Um, because it doesn't make sense for me to have this knight, this, like, warrior guy with this armor be my druid. Or with this guy. Ooh, that looks decent. Um, actually, let's just check a couple others. Yeah, I think some of these are, like, party members. Like, this, or er, not that person, maybe. I could have sworn I saw one that looked like a party member. Maybe they're more down here, no? I guess it wouldn't make that much sense. Um, any with red hair? Not this guy. Nope. Armor again. Um, hmm. Sort of druidy, but doesn't look too much like my character. I think this is the best choice for the portrait. Okay. So, animal companion chosen. Skills. Ah ha ha. Okay. So, they we're doing this by ability points. Okay. So I gotta pick my stuff, and oh, this is a nice little thing to indicate um, that this is your your most important spell as a druid. You use wisdom for your spell stuff. So let's start with a 16 in that. Um, let's start with that. That. Uh, let's get that and that up get this up and of course doing this takes away I have nine more points jeez I'm sure you know what I wonder if this would be different depending on the level of difficulty that you're playing on like you get less points to work with on higher difficulties maybe probably not a whole lot but you know Let's give it a little bit to Charisma. Let's give a couple more to Intelligence. And maybe a couple more Strength. And... 
Oh, I guess that's maxed out. Um, we'll give one more to Dex, I guess. It's fine. Um, racial bonus because I'm human. We'll give that to Wisdom. Um, man, there is so much stuff to look at. I'm sorry, I'm distracted. Uh, okay, so Knowledge World. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Uh, characters knowledge about people, systems that make civilization run, and historical events that made societies what they are today. Your character's knowledge... Okay. So, let's do knowledge of nature, knowledge world, knowledge arcana. Um, let's do perception, definitely. Uh... Hmm, mobility. Let's do a point and use magic device. Actually, uh, maybe persuasion instead? I don't, I don't even know. I'm just so excited to start playing. Oh, feats. So much feats. Oh my gosh, uh, there's so much, so much, oh god, show unavailable, hide unavailable. Spell focus. I, I can't choose a thing. Okay. Um. Sorry, hold on. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I need, I need to keep talking so you guys don't get bored. Okay, so spell focus. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, probably just start with evocation. That seems good. Is there any other things that I think would go elemental focus? Ooh. Maybe improved in it. Wait, how does? Initiative work in this game. I don't know anything. Oh my god. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with what's recommended. Yeah, that works. Um okay. Uh what? confident? I'll take care of it. Get it off me. Let's shake a leg. All I see is blackness. Okay. I have no use for this. A mere flesh wound. Defeat is not an option. Our time has come. I have no need for this. We cannot mm. be defeated. Adventures await. Forwards! Everyone counts on me. Enemy near. Let us bide our time. I am superior! Jeez. My wounds pile on. I'll go ahead. We will be victorious. I didn't even break a sweat. Time's not waiting. Calm down. Not dead yet. I just no voice. Someone else would make better use of this. I'll go ahead. That sounds like a good voice. <sighs> Orin Mehan. Or just just Orin. Just Orin works birthday. Does that matter? Uh, you know what? How about we leave this up to a roll of dice? I have my dice nearby. I will roll some of my dice to pick this 
this character's birthday. How about that? Okay. So, for the month, let's see here. So, his month will be, his birth month will be the seventh month, which is Erastus. Well, that's kind of appropriate. Erastus, uh... Or, I'm sorry, Erastil. Erastus, uh, the, the months in the Pathfinder universe are named after the gods. Um, so Erastus is, is named after Erastil, who is the god of hunters, farmers, um, sort of civilization living in harmony with the land, not like big city sort of things. Um, but there are some druids that follow him. I don't know if my character will follow him, but... Okay, and uh, let's do... Um, a d20 and a d8 uh, to figure out the birthday and a d4 just in case so ooh natural 20 <laughs> 20 okay so the 25th 25th day of the seventh month all right All right, so cool. Um, so uh, let's do neutral good. I like playing neutral good characters. I mean, like there's there's something. Well, actually, I can't um, think about druids. They have to be one of the neutral alignments in Pathfinder. So I could only be neutral good, lawful neutral, chaotic neutral, or neutral evil. Which I mean. <laughs> Neutral evil druids, man. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, so... Next. Okay, looking good. I wish I could get a portrait that slightly better matched the character, but that's fine. Um, I guess I could remake the hair to better match the portrait, but nah, I don't want to do that. Um, okay. Let's see how this goes. Uh, new sp wait, do I not get, to oh, spells, I didn't get to pick my spells, um, so, ooh, there's some ones that I don't know, fire belly, ooh, nifty, I think I'm going to go with ones that I know better, so I'm going to go with cure light wounds, Oh wait, these are... Okay. Wait, are these just... Do I... Just... Oh, right, right. I'm a druid. I'm a druid. What am I talking about? Okay. Um, just go to total. It's fine. Anyway, complete. Ooh, I like the book style. Ooh, stuff. I'm so excited about stuff. Here, chatter. Our story started at the mansion of an Aldori sword lord. Drawn by the promise of a most dangerous task and a commensurately huge reward, heroes of all stripes gathered here. Interesting. I think this this uh I believe it's a halfling. Um I think she's one of our party members, or potential party members. Ooh, not bad, not bad. I mean, it's a CRPG, so it's not going to be... Where are they? This is taking forever! They didn't even say what this was for, just that the Eldori were looking for heroes. Who are the Eldori anyway, rich folk? If you can't be patient, no one's keeping you here. Just go back to your mountains or whatever hole you crawled out of. The Eldori Sword Lords run the premier school for the dueling arts. They're also the richest and most influential group in this part of Brevoy. Take that tone with them, and they'll teach you some manners pretty quickly. 
All right, you purple toad, just shut your trap. And if you can't, I'll help you. Hush! Quiet! They're coming. Interesting. The music's pretty great. Greetings, everyone. I am Sword Lord Jamandi Aldori, and this is Lord Mayor Yosef Salimius of Restal. Welcome to my mansion. We thank you from the bottom of our hearts for responding to our call. You may be few, but that's unavoidable. We need only the best of the best for this task. And I see true heroes before me, strong and fearless, exactly what Restolf needs. Should've Thank you, Lord Mayor. That. Now, to the point. South of here, just beyond Brevoy's border, lies a region known as the Stolen Lands. This is disputed territory, and while it's long been claimed by nearby states, it's never been truly taken. I won't bore you with the legal technicalities. Suffice to say that anyone with enough courage and power to seize the Stolen Lands and name themselves Baron or Baroness, claiming dominion, well, none of the neighboring states would be able to challenge it. Of course, Restolf would be first to recognize the legitimacy of this new state, as well as the noble title of its founder. Okay, so that's how... So that... Okay, so that explains a lot. There we go. Unfortunately, one serious obstacle stands between you and this title. A gang of bandits hold sway in the Stolen Lands. Their chief who they call the Stag Lord, considers himself the rightful owner of these lands, and no one has yet been able to challenge his power. Bring me his head, and you'll be able to return to the Stolen Lands as their legal ruler. Any questions? Okay, and then we start making decisions. So there's a whole team of us who exactly will receive the Baron's title. Why not just recognize the Stag Lord as Baron? Obviously, it's obvious why not, he's this bandit chief. Uh, you're helping us find a barony? What do you gain from such generosity? What awards? Um, I think that, I think Orin would probably say... I will, of course. I'm the oh. leader of this team, after all. Don't worry, though. I'll make it worth your while to help me. We haven't yet begun, and you already speak of divvying rewards. What makes you think we'll even succeed? There's little point arguing over who gains the title when we'll most likely lose our lives there. Okay, I saw this guy in the trailer. I think he's a cleric of, like, the goddess of death, I think. So he's all like, we're all just gonna die someday, quite the pessimist. Maybe a nihilist? Not exactly. <clears throat> if I may please answer the question. We believe you're all equally deserving of a noble title. Over the course of your expedition, it will be up to you as a team to decide which of you is best suited to rule. Uh, so what do what do you gain from such generosity? Don't ask stupid questions. Why should you even care? What they have to gain and why, that's for Lady Aldori and I to discuss. Mm. It's none of your concern. Your only concern is to swing your sword around or whatever it is you do. I don't like you, Tartuccio. Of course, we stand to benefit from this enterprise. But if you're concerned that we intend to rule your country from afar, using you as a front, well, please know that these concerns are unfounded. Let's just say that we have a strong interest in the region's stability. We have need of a ruling power we can negotiate with, not bandit gangs and monster hordes. Hmm, I feel there's more to this than she's letting on. And what reward would you seek beyond a noble title and your own lands? We'll absorb the costs of preparing and equipping your expeditions. Once you return victorious, Restoff will also allocate you a significant sum to provide financial support for you to establish your country. Essentially, we'll help you build your capital. I hope such a reward is satisfactory. Words, words, words. Significant. Financial. I can't fill my belly with pretty words. 
Um, if I remember correctly, this uh, this is the um, iconic Pathfinder Barbarian. Um, meaning she's an actual character. She represents the Barbarian class. That's what an iconic character is. Um, she looks a little different, though. Maybe they decide to go with a different style. Of course. There will also be an official banquet held in your honor. All of Rostov's high society will gather to celebrate your feat. Now you're talking. Excellent. Yeah. You venture forth tomorrow. For now, you can take some time to get to know one another better. Or you can head straight to your guest rooms to get some rest. You'll find we've already prepared supplies for you there. And thank you again for agreeing to take part in this expedition. I wish you luck. Thank you again, with all my heart, for replying to this call. The flare in your eyes reveals your courage. The unshakable will that distinguishes true heroes. I look at you, O oh champions of Restoff, and doubt not for a second that you'll be victorious. So venture forth toward your feet. Go, and return in triumph. Okay, then. So, how... Hi, my name's Lindsay. I'm a bard, though this is my first real adventure. So, shall we go teach this stag lord a lesson? Uh, I'm Orin. Pleased to Likewise. meet you. Actually, I also wanted to ask you something. Uh, my wolf is kind of slightly in the way. How do you feel about this Tartuccio fellow? I think he's pretty obnoxious, personally. He appointed himself head of the team, and he's just after the Baron's crown, or whatever it is Baron's wear. It doesn't matter. I don't like him. I think you should be team leader. When I first saw you, I couldn't help but think, now here's a real hero. Someone who'll be praised in poems and songs. This... This is the person I'll write my book about. Wait, a book? Damn, I should have led with that. Please, just let me explain. Uh-oh. Uh... Maybe not everything is voice acted? I'm trying to find a way. Is there a way to... Alright, I'll, I'll read it. You know what the trouble with most heroes' biographies is? They're always written years later, based on the tales of, best case, people who saw things from the outside. Worst case? Someone heard about it from their brother, who heard it from their friend, who heard it from their cousin, and so on, adding a new batch of lies each time. Every time I read about a heroic journey, I think to myself, why didn't they just bring a bard with them to write it all down properly? And then I thought, I could be that bard. I just needed to find a suitable hero and volunteer to follow along on their glorious adventure. A great plan, huh? And here we are, with a heroic journey lying before us. Who's going to be the hero? Some dwarf who keeps muttering about how we'll all die? Or maybe that horrific scythe lady? Or gods forbid, Tartuccio? No way. I didn't notice the scythe lady until just now. From... from behind, uh... That's looking a little, a little spooky. Um, uh, so let's see. Not a bad plan itself then. I'll accomplish the feats and write them out. What about that barbarian? She looks pretty heroic. I think her name's Amiri. Uh. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. You can tell she could tear a bear's head off with her bare hands, but she kind of scares me just a little. But. I mean, her sword's twice as big as I am. She could cut me down without even noticing. Just think on it a bit, all right? I'm sure you'll agree. All right. I'm going to my room to write about tonight. See you in the morning. I like her. Party member. Hello, wolf. Can I change your name? So, leave the hall. But I'm sure I can talk to people, right? Can Click on the location you want to move to. Okay. Oh. I am prepared. Oh, okay. So wait, if I. Okay. Our own barony, not surprised. What about you? What game is Jamadi playing? I'm not used to feeling like a pawn.
Finally, the idol talk's over. Can't wait to set out. Tomorrow, our glorious journey begins. Are you ready? I hope so. I don't need to lay about on my team. Uh, I don't like you. Let's talk to uh, Sword Lord Jumon. Oh. Get some rest before the road. You have a terrific journey before you. I'll, de I'll build a guard for the night just as a precaution. Ooh, I can investigate things. Large map of Brevoy and its surroundings started with numerous cryptic marks and notes. Interesting. Can I talk to Harim? Oh, yes. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone with a wolf for this. Okay. But, you know what? Too late now. Okay. Interesting. You can skip days in the kingdom interface to wait for new events. Yeah, I I think this is based off of um, certain Pathfinder rules 